what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be finishing up the pacific so um yeah man episodes really picked up episode six um the last episode we got to see what's going on back home with you know sergeant Barcelona, you know um so that was pretty cool man to see what he was doing and also to see how he died he was sent back he chose to go back after he got married um as i said um in that review when i was talking about um you know i didn't you know i didn't like the fact that he went back you know what i'm saying he got out you know what i mean and sometimes you know because you're so you don't know how to necessarily live normal after a war or you know coming home from war you don't necessarily um know how to assimilate and it's kind of like you feel like maybe you're letting down the people that you left you know what i'm saying um because he did something you know got him a medal of honor and everything the highest um achievement that you could get as a war veteran or as a military person you know, and, you know, Gail met a great gal, got married, and decided to ship back out because he trained the squad and whatever. He could have just stayed there and just continued to train people to send. It was a choice because his, his, um, his enlistment was, was going to be up and he re-enlisted. And I was saying, why did you re-enlist? You know what I'm saying? Like... For me, I think, you know, some people can be lifers in the military. I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think the military should be a lifetime thing because guys are always signing up to the, to the military. I get that people got to be there, you know, you know, older, wiser people got to be there. But I don't think that's for everybody. I think that should be the minority, not the majority, which in a way it is the majority. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? A lot of people, they spend a lot of time in the military when I think, I think six years, is it six or four? I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't know. If you guys know, you can always let me know if, you know, if you're in the military or if you're not and you just know, I know it's something that I can Google, but I think it's a six year minimum when you, when you enlist to the military in the, in, in America. Uh, I'm talking about I think is a six year minimum is either four or six. I know that for sure. Um, or maybe there's different time period for different branches of the military, whether, you know, whether it's the Air Force, whether it's the Navy. So I'm not exactly sure. But if you guys know, leave it in the comment section, of course, if you're watching this intro. But yeah, man, that's just my opinion. But, that would, you know, it was sad. But yet, you know what I'm saying? Um, he died doing what he loved. So I can't hate on that. I can't hate on that. You know, um, some might even say he went back there just to die. Um, but I'm not going to go as far to say that. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's like that at all. Um, so we're going to jump into these final two episodes. Um you know, I kind of like the fact that they kind of focus on these um, characters um, for the Pacific. The Pacific is a lot different from Band of Brothers, but they could have, in my opinion, I think the production was better on Band of Brothers. You guys have heard me say this before. I think the production was better because you got to know people individually, but also you got to see the really dirty side of war. You know what I mean? The really dirty side, you know what I'm saying? You know the real gritty part of war. You're seeing it now in the Pacific, but in the beginning episodes, like the first four or five episodes, there was really nothing we were seeing. We were just seeing, we weren't seeing war. You know, we were just kind of seeing the others, the laid back side of war. You know what I'm saying? It's like they were disappointed that they weren't really fighting anybody. So it was like, why am I watching this? Don't get me wrong. I was enjoying it on a, on a level of like, you know, a seven out of 10, you know, I was enjoying the little, the stories about Lecky and, you know, all these other soldiers. Um, now we got Eugene, Eugene, 
um, story is a lot more interesting because he was the one that had the heart murmur and stuff like that. And he went in and now he's kind of changing. Now you see him trying to <laughs> pry gold out of Japanese mouth and stuff like that. He held, he ended up getting a katana, um, a Japanese sword. Um, so it was like, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff going on now, man. So I just want to jump in. So in, in any case, man, I will see you guys for the review make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're new and don't forget to watch the review okay so i'll see you guys there all right the pacific the pacific the pacific it did an excellent job production was great for the series the production was great, and I'm going to start off with my rating. I'm going to give this a solid 8.5. The reason why I'm giving this a solid 8.5 um, is because, in a way, I'm taking off a point and a half for the first half. <laughs> for the first half of this miniseries, it was awesome, but it was only like, you know, the the way how they set things up. Um, I wish it was a little bit faster paced to get to, so they could have probably shown more of what was going on. But as you guys have told me, you know, in the comment section, they were really trying to show, um, Lecky, Barcelona and Sledge. So, you know, so I, I understood that. And that's why, um, you know, it's getting a solid 8.5 out of 10. Um, because the second half was great. You know what I'm saying? Like they really brought it. They really, it's kind of like something changed about the series after episode five for some, for some reason, something changed. I don't know if they brought in some, somebody else to direct. I don't know what it is, but there's, there's something different about the second half of the series that really got to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I almost teared up a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, my eyes, like even in the last episode, episode nine and episode 10 was two of the best of the entire series, you know? So I definitely, definitely, um, feel like they did a great job in the second half that really raised raised it up there to kind of the the way how they did it in episode 10 of wrapping things up and show you where these people are who made it home who did not you know what i mean um i think i think um enlistment back in the day you can enlist you can get drafted i think at like 16 back in the day if i'm not mistaken i think i think so I think you could get drafted at 16. I, I don't think you can at this. I, I don't think you can in this day and age. If there is a war, I don't think you can get drafted so young. I might be wrong. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know anything about that, really. Um, I can only guess based on, you know, maybe a conversation here or there that I've had with military people. I've never hacked these specific questions, but I do can judge and say maybe <laughs> you know but if you guys as i said i'm not gonna google stuff now just to have that information right now so um so yeah man this series they did an excellent job so we talk about the technical aspects a little bit the aesthetics was great they did a great job of um the sets that that were set up to film this film <laughs> you know film this series so um they did a great job with that the video aesthetics were great man the burnt rocks everything that they did the simulation of everything the gunfire the gun sounded like guns it didn't sound like cans because you have you can have that effect a, um, a lot of times where guns don't sound like guns in movies they sound weird and you're like what is that <laughs> you know what i'm saying um they also do this in video games too so it's like that's not how the gun sounds in real life so it's kind of like how do you capture that sound you know what i mean they're doing a better job these days of of recreating gun sounds in in movies tv shows and video games they're doing an awesome job of simulating gun sounds because when you actually if you look up 
if you look up certain things about real guns fire because they are youtube channels out there that you can check out and see these actual guns and how they fire how they actually sound when a camera is picking up the sound or a mic or a boom whatever you want to call it um is picking up that sound what it actually sounds like they are channels on youtube that you can go look at people firing guns if you want if that's what you're about um i used to do that back in the day i don't do that anymore i used to do that there was a channel um of a guy i i can't remember what his name i think it's fps russia i don't know if you remember that guy but there was a couple of youtubers that was doing that back in the day where they used to simulate real gunfire um and blow stuff up and their channels you know used to get a lot of views and stuff like that um i don't know if you guys remember that guy but i'm pretty sure his name was fps rusher i don't know i don't think he still has a youtube channel back in the day when youtube wasn't paying you to do youtube you know what i'm saying um so uh so yeah man um great stuff so yeah the video aesthetics sound design awesome the score 10 out of 10 for the score for this it really set up a lot. I love the emotion that the, the, the score, the sound design present in this series a lot. I liked it very much. It's something I, I like to kind of collect soundtrack music. So it resonated with me a lot. This is definitely a soundtrack I'm going to be looking to get um, because it's just awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just awesome, especially the intro music. Um, I loved it very much. I like music like that because it's, it's not necessarily orchestral, you know, but it's like, there's this bill, there's this emotion that's connects with it. There's no words, but there's just this emotion with that music that you can resonate with, you know, that's just really cool, you know, and I like it very much, man. It did such an awesome job on the technical aspects of the show. Um, so, as I said before, this, the story of how they told this, you know, real life event that happened, right? How they did it was awesome. I can't complain. But as I said, the first half was so slow. You get what I'm saying? You might disagree. You may have liked that build up. But for a 10 episode series, I just think that Band of Brothers did a better job of getting me engaged for the first half. You get what I'm saying? It did a way better job, in my opinion. So if you disagree, you disagree, it's okay. I enjoyed it nonetheless. I'm, it's not like I'm sitting here giving it a 4 out of 10. It's an 8.5 out of 10, um, mainly because they picked it up. It changed. I don't know, maybe nothing changed and it's the same people that ran the show in the second half, but it just felt like there was a shift in, you know what I'm saying, in the gravity of things, you know what I'm saying, like, it, it, something changed, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but maybe it's just in my mind, maybe I just started looking at things at a different angle, who knows, but something changed, anyways, so I really do appreciate you guys for sticking with me throughout this series and for all of you guys that was asking me when am i going to complete the pacific because i did um take an uh, uh, un unplanned long break from the pacific because i kept forgetting to react to it so um so yeah man but we're at the end two episodes and it was great it was great thank you guys so much Shout out to all the veterans out there. I don't know if any veterans watch my channel. They probably don't, <laughs> you know, but shout out to any veterans out there, man, that's fighting in wars because there's little wars here and there that is, you know, that people are deployed to go fight and whatever, um, you know, regardless of if they're senseless or, or, you know, very legit, you know, it's, it is war and they have to do what they got to do because they're protecting their country anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to leave a comment and also subscribe if you're new i don't know what i'm going to do next now that this is over i will go and check the list to see 
what's next on the horizon there are some war movies that i'm planning to do so i will be doing those first before i jump back into another series because on the channel what i usually do is i'll have like two running tv shows that i'm watching right now it's spartacus and um vikings and also the walking dead that i'm watching as tv shows so for this series i don't know what's going to replace it or if i'm replacing it but i am going to be doing those war movies that were suggested over on the discord um i think a couple more came in on some comments i need to go back and and write those down so that i can get them and watch them but those um reactions will be up very soon so look out for them anyways thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time Everybody out.